Hey everybody, this is JJ, and right now what I have for you is just a couple of things that I picked up at Walmart of all places. Now, I don't normally think that Walmart is the best place to find outdoor gear, but I was kind of pleasantly surprised at the um, construction of this and, and the price on it all. Now, I, I recently got this Drago uh, bag here, and it's just kind of a small day pack, but it didn't come with a hydration system. And, you know, it was it was a fairly cheap pack. It was only like 60 bucks, And so I can kind of understand why they didn't have a hydration system with it. And I've looked at some of the other ones, Camelbacks and the 511s and different ones. And, you know, they're just pretty expensive. So I was kind of looking for a cheap alternative to adding a hydration system. And Outdoor Products, uh, which is sold at Walmart, has these 2-liter uh, hydration bladders for sale for like $9.95, which... I thought it was a pretty good deal, and I thought, you know, maybe it would be useful to you guys as well if you guys have packs out there that you haven't incorporated a hydration system into. Um, because, you know, for hiking, day hiking, and, and, and even long-term hiking, hiking and all that kind of stuff, a hydration system is awesome. They're, they're, they're really fantastic. They, they keep you, uh, they help keep you hydrated, and, you know, I just, I'm a big advocate of them. And the other thing that they had there was the cleaning kit um it had this cleaning kit for it and it was only like seven bucks you know you can clean the tube out real good um and then the hanger you know to uh actually hang it up and let it air dry and the scrub brush and all that kind of stuff and that's the box for it and here's the box for the uh hydration system so Anyhow, I just wanted to uh, share this with you guys. If you guys are looking for an alternative, kind of a cheap alternative for adding a hydration system to your kit, this might be one option for you. Um, I'm going to try it out a little bit, and uh, then I will do a, another review later on, just kind of letting you know how it goes, how it all works. One of the cool things I thought about this and I haven't tried it yet. This is just this is the first time I've had it out of the box. Obviously, it has a quick disconnect with it. And if you guys remember the review I did on the Cadenden uh, Hiker, it also has a quick disconnect that comes with it. And it looks like it looks like to me that that may work with it. So I'm going to have to try it out and make sure that it doesn't leak and all that kind of stuff. But if it does, you know, if it's compatible, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, for, like I said, 10 bucks, having a 2-liter, you know, being able to add a 2-liter hydration system to your pack and one that is compatible with, you know, one of the better um, water filters on the market, you know, that's, that's pretty awesome. So uh, there will be more to come on this. I will uh, definitely let you guys know how it works out if it, you know, is as good as it appears to be. It does have a real wide mouth on it, you know, pretty easy to fill. It's got a hanger here and then another, um, you know, tab as well. So you can hang it that, or you can fill it that way if need be. And then the other thing, the other feature that's kind of cool about it, I mean, it's got instructions and all that kind of stuff printed on it for cleaning and everything. But then it's also down here, it's got what they call the last drop system where the, the, the tube is basically at the very bottom of the uh, bag. A lot of times uh, on several systems, you can get it, the tubes up a little bit higher and you can't quite get everything out. So we'll, we'll let you know how all that works out. The bite valve doesn't seem to be the best to me. The hose seems plenty durable, um, but the bite valve is a screw on deal. So you can probably replace that fairly easily. I didn't notice if they had those at Walmart or not, but I think I like the bite valve design on the camelbacks and stuff like that a little bit better but anyhow i'll let you know how it goes um, all right let's see if it looks like this is going to work in this pack bunch of crap in here right now Looks like it's going to work okay. It's almost too tall, but it actually fits just about right. Kind of route that down through the strap. And that'll be good to go.
pretty cool. I'll let you know how it turns out. You know, one, one piece of advice as far as uh, your hydration system goes, using a hydration system and keeping it clean, um, it's very tempting to want to put like Gatorade and Kool-Aid and um, Crystal Light and different kind of drink mixes into your hydration system. I strongly recommend against that. Um, <laughs> you talk about getting uh, mold and mildew and all those different kinds of things like that in there and getting it dirty quick, that is the best way to do it. Uh, it, it, it's my recommendation that you basically only put water into your hydration system. Uh, otherwise, it is a bear to clean, and you can get some pretty nasty, uh, some pretty ma nasty mold and mildew and stuff like that in there. And you know the cleaning systems work pretty good, but uh, it's tough to get all that out, all the little cracks and crevices once once you put that in there. So anyhow, just something to think about as far as keeping them clean. You guys got any questions on this then uh, please stick them in the comments below and I am curious as what do you guys think is the best hydration system out there and what do you prefer to use in your backpacks so anyway guys thanks for watching and as always I definitely appreciate it when you share with your friends on Facebook and Twitter and don't forget proper prior preparation prevents poor performance see you guys